once again and we're going to have a game of Golden Axe for the Commodore 64 and why not indeed. Um, I originally had this on the Amiga years ago. Um, yeah, I thought that was a good game. Um, just played the Amstrad CPC version. Um, yeah, that was alright. So I want to see what the Commodore 64 version is like. Um, I know the music's great, done by your own your own tell. Um, uploaded the music on my channel. Um, very nice version indeed. Um, so let's get on with the game, shall we? So we can have the elf, the woman. Let's just choose the guy. Select your player. Um, so we've got a choice here. So we can have music or sound effects. We're going to choose sound effects. Um, now we've got to fucking wait for it to load. Oh yes, I did a test run, yeah. I didn't do a test run recently, it was a couple of days ago I did a test run. And I forgot, it like, takes an eternity to fucking load up. Being disc images. Ah. Oh. So yes, so, so I used to have this on the Amiga years ago back in the day um, I have to say that was a very good version um, I'm not expecting it to be as good as the Amiga version because you know the Amigas are on a completely different level so you can't honestly compare 8-bit to 16-bit because that wasn't wouldn't be fair but then again I have played some better 8-bit games and I have the 16-bit versions of the game that I played i.e. Outrun Outrun was much better on the Commodore 64 than it was on the Amiga. Um, I know there's been others, but not all of them. But you know, you can't expect you got to expect the Amiga versions to be better. But that's not always the case, as I just said. Um, so I'm curious to see what Golden Axe is like. Um, so I will be comparing it against the Amstrad version. Um, as I usually do, it's a fair test. If it ever fucking loads, that is. Yeah! Mm. Um, ooh, right. let me get into the game first. Why is he green? Has he just been, has he just vomited down himself or something? Why is he green? Right, okay, getting the hang of the controls. Already, I would have to say, oh fucking hell, now I say that, I was going to say it is a little bit more easier on the Commodore 64 than the Amstrad version. Controls feel okay. Right, so we we'll progress. Right, I'm going, I'm going. Definitely feels a lot more smoother on the uh, Commodore 64 than the Amstrad version. And it definitely feels a lot more easier to play than the Amstrad version. Colours. Amstrad gets that. You know, at least there was de def definitely colours in the character. It wasn't green. Um, but I honestly think this version is a lot nicer to play. Controls are controls work. Yeah, I thought the Amstrad version was a little bit oversensitive with the controls, but this seems very playable. Well, they're all right. Come here. Right, okay. Where's the... Fuck here now. 
I got where's my magic? I don't want to waste my magic. Not yet. I don't even know what the, I know what the button is, but the problem is the Commodore 64 actual keyboard is a lot different from the PC keyboard, and it's a narrow key, so it must be cursor. It might be the cursor key because it was a narrow key. So I'll try that when I need to. Right, come here, you little bastard. Oh, you fuck. Right, come here, you little shit. Oh, I missed that opportunity. It doesn't matter because I'm... Ah, here we go. So you don't have to fight anyone for these riding things. Oh, my God. That is just gross. Oh, if... Okay, we've got another... Um... It's not the one that whacks... Fucking hell. Gotcha. Come here! Fucking hell. Oh, is that it? No. Oh, you bastard got me. Oh, is that it? Oh, come on! You... Well, I've hit him four times, right, you've got to hit those bastards four times. Oh, oh you've got to get your timing right, because you can't just fire straight away, you got to... Well, I've got him. Ah, fuck it! Ah, I've lost it. Maybe it's easier just to fight them. Which it is, it is easier to fight them and use that... that ridey thing. Yeah, a lot easier. Oh, you bastard. So I'll take it, I've got four more lives. And that's my energy next to it. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, I've got three lives now, so you get three energy bars. So it's quite generous in this game. And I think I've got further than the Amstrad version. But then again I have noticed something with the Commodore 64 version. Not a lot of enemies come on at one time. So that's probably why it's a little bit easier. I've noticed that. Fuck's sake. Come here, you little. Come here. What the fuck? Make your mind up where you want to go. Oh, go on, man. Why don't you run? Right, okay. Yeah, I've noticed that. Only one enemy appears on screen at one time. The Amstrad, you're getting about three, maybe four, I think. I'll turn around. these big bastards. That's it, they give you a whack, that's it. You have got no chance. I'll only take one block off. Okay. Oh fucking hell! Oh, bloody, I can't get him down in time. Game over. I don't want to continue because uh, I don't want to make it as long as I have to. Right, so I think the Commodore 64 version plays pretty well. Um, okay, there's not a lot going on on screen at once, um, but I think that makes it easier to play. Um, yeah, it's not a bad version for the Commodore 64. I would honestly go to say it plays better than the Amstrad version. Um, 
prefer graphically, I would say the Amstrad was per the Amstrad version was better graphically, uh, especially with the colours. But I found it can get a bit too messy at times. But this one was pretty good. It was good to play. Yeah, give it a go if you haven't played it already. Anyway, I'm going to end it now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.